Leave It to Beaver ran from 1957 to 63. Many of our viewers will likely have innumerable fond memories of watching the show as children. You might even remember crowding around the TV with your family, eagerly anticipating what silly and ever so wholesome antics the star of the show, Beaver, played by Jerry Mathers, would get himself into. Keep watching to learn which Leave It to Beaver actors are still alive today. While it's true that many of the show's stars have since passed away, you'd be surprised how many are still alive and kicking. Rusty Stevens Best known for his role as Larry Mondello, Beaver's younger friend on Leave it to Beaver, Stevens appeared in 68 out of 234 episodes. He reportedly left the show in 1960 after his family relocated from Burbank, California to Philadelphia. While that move may have played a part in things, Barbara Billingsley, the actress who played June Cleaver, once told TV Archive that Stevens was actually fired because of his overbearing stage mother and the grief she caused for the show's producers. In 1983, Stevens briefly reprised his role as Larry in the made-for-TV Leave it to Beaver reunion film Still the Beaver. Otherwise, Stevens has completely steered clear of acting. His whereabouts currently are unknown, but you can't blame the guy for wanting a bit of privacy. We do know he was born in 1948, so that would make him 73 or 74 years old. Stephen Talbot This actor, longtime PBS contributor, and documentary producer got his start in the entertainment industry as a child actor in the late 50s and early 60s. His best-known role was Beaver Cleaver's friend Gilbert Bates. Gilbert's character was constantly getting Beaver into trouble. After Leave it to Beaver, Talbot guest starred on TV shows like The Twilight Zone, Perry Mason, and The Fugitive. In 1960, he appeared in the film Because They're Young. After graduating high school, Talbot studied English and film at Wesleyan University, where he actively participated in anti-Vietnam War protests. He began his filmmaking career making films about the anti-war movements. In the 80s, he worked as a staff reporter and producer at KOED-TV, a PBS affiliate in San Francisco. He went on to produce two Peabody award-winning documentaries, Broken Arrow and The Case of Dashiell Hammett, in addition to several other national PBS documentaries. He also contributed many feature news stories to the McNeil Lehrer NewsHour. At 73, Talbot now works as a senior producer for the Center of Investigative Reporting and for ITVS and the PBS long-running series Independent Lens. Before we tell you more, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Tiger Fafara Born in San Francisco in 1945, Tiger is the older brother of Stanley Fafara, the actor who played Whitey on Leave it to Beaver. He and his brother were hired on as a pair at an open casting for the show. Tiger ended up landing the role of Tui Brown, one of Wally Cleaver's friends. Tiger also appeared in series like Lassie, The Adventures of Rin Tin Tin, and The Donna Reed Show. He also had a relatively minor role in the 1955 film Good Morning, Miss Dove. He left Leave it to Beaver in 1960 and stopped acting the following year. He briefly returned to acting in 1983 to reprise his role in the Leave it to Beaver reunion film Still the Beaver. He later appeared in the follow-up reboot series The New Leave it to Beaver from 1983 to 87. At 77 years old, Fafara is now retired. His son Des Fafara is a vocalist in the heavy metal band Coal Chamber and Devil Driver. Jerry Well this former child actress is best known for her role as Judy Hensler on Leave it to Beaver. She also appeared in the film The Eddie Cantor Story. In 1983, after Leave it to Beaver was given the revival treatment, Well appeared on the game show Match Game Hollywood Squares Hour as a celebrity guest participant. In 1987, she reprised her role as Judy in the new Leave it to Beaver. While she largely left acting behind after Leave it to Beaver ended, at 74, Well now works as a writer and a realtor in Studio City, California. Veronica Cartwright This three-time Primetime Emmy Award nominee is best known for her work in science fiction and horror films. As a child, she appeared in supporting roles in films like The Birds and The Children's Hour. On Leave it to Beaver, she played Violet Rutherford in three episodes. She later played Peggy McIntosh in a 1963 episode. She starred in minor roles as a child in shows like Make Room for Daddy, Route 66, and The Twilight Zone. As an adult, Cartwright has continued to make regular appearances in TV shows including ER, The X-Files, Law & Order, and The Closer. On the big screen, she's appeared in films such as Invasion of the Body Snatchers, The Right Stuff, The Invasion, and The Town That Dreaded Sundown. Most recently, the 73-year-old actress has appeared in the 2020 rom-com Breaking Fast and in a 2021 episode of The Resident. Buddy Hart 
Nathaniel Buddy Hart got his big break acting, playing the character Chester Anderson, one of Wally's friends, although his first acting role was in The Adventures of Rin Tin Tin. Some of his other acting roles include turns on Gunsmoke, The Twilight Zone, and Father Knows Best. Nowadays, he's known as Buddy Joe Hooker and is considered to be one of the entertainment industry's hardest working and most prolific stunt professionals. He developed a reputation for being the go-to car chase coordinator after working in films like To Live and Die in L.A. and Jade. His impressive resume includes work on films like The Godfather Part 3, The Outsiders, The 40-Year-Old Virgin, and Close Encounters of the Third Kind. At 78, Hart continues to work in showbiz alongside his stunt performer wife, Gail, and their twin sons. Tony Dow Dow's biggest and most well-known acting role was playing the Beaver's older brother, Wally. He won the role in an open casting call, having next to no acting experience. After the show ended, Dow appeared in shows like My Three Sons, The Greatest Show on Earth, and Never Too Young. He then served in the National Guard from 1965 to 68, after which he returned to acting, appearing in TV series like Love American Style, Adam 12, and Emergency. In the 70s, he continued acting, albeit sporadically, while working in the construction industry. During this time, he also studied filmmaking and journalism. From 1983 to 89, he reprised his role as Wally on the new Leave it to Beaver. His most recent acting credit was appearing in the 2003 film Dickie Roberts, Former Child Star. Since then, he's been seen promoting Leave it to Beaver on MeTV. Behind the camera, Dow has worked as a director on shows like Babylon 5, Star Trek, Deep Space Nine, and Coach. In May of 2022, he revealed he'd been diagnosed with cancer for the second time. He celebrated his 77th birthday on April 13th of 2022. Jerry Mathers Last but not least, we have the actor who played Leave it to Beaver's title character, Theodore Beaver Cleaver. Mathers was barely 10 when he first started appearing on the show. Now he's 74. He began his career modeling for a department store at the age of two. After appearing in a commercial for Pet Milk, alongside vaudeville legend comic Ed Wynn, Mathers landed early roles in films like This Is My Love and The Seven Little Foys. As the Beaver, Mathers appeared in all 234 episodes of the series. He recorded two musical singles on 45's Don't You Cry and Wind Up Toy. After the show ended, he joined the U.S. Army Air Force Reserve. He later worked as a loan officer and disc jockey at KEZY Radio in Anaheim, California. In 1983, he reprised his role as the Beaver in Still the Beaver and the subsequent reboot series The New Leave it to Beaver, which ran until 1989. Since then, he's continued appearing in shows like Diagnosis Murder, Married with Children, and Vengeance Unlimited. In 2007, he made his Broadway debut with the starring role of Wilbur and Hairspray. At 74, he's currently enjoying his golden years with his third wife, Teresa Madnick, in Santa Clarita, California. Now it's time to hear from you. Who was your favorite character on Leave it to Beaver? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.